Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> All right, Taurus. When I'm saying welcome, I do feel like um, it's welcome. So I don't know what that's about. <clears throat> I don't know what that's about. Maybe you're hosting something. I have no idea. I almost wanted to change my tablecloth for you guys. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So I don't really like where I cut the deck. But I will show you what I almost changed my tablecloth to. Okay. Whole bunch of little fancy heels. I love this little. It's just fabric I get for like, um, you know, my, my tables. And actually, I think I bought this last year or the year before around the same time. I'm not going to lie. So why I didn't put them on is beyond me. But <clears throat> maybe welcome back. Maybe it's just you. You know, maybe it's just that surge of energy. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, yo. All right. So Taurus, week four of May. <clears throat> um, it's basically the rest of May, 2021. Taurus, Taurus, grief, grief. And then we have healing. Hmm, and numbing. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck shadow work. So you also need to say something about something. So maybe a hiding your sorrow. Um, I won't lie, it's been hard to, to read the last week or two. I'm absorbing energies that are not mine. I'm seeing scenarios that I've dealt with, you know, probably a long time ago. I'm seeing new scenarios I will read differently next week. Um, trying to channel new types of energy. So, I don't know if this is someone around you, if this is actually you. It's like the word I'm getting is disbelief. So, I'm not really sure where we're going with that. And if you notice, the reads are different this week. I'm just trying to... Like I said, channel different types of energies, different types of ways. So it's Taurus. So bear with me. You have the butterfly, relationship evolving, going to the next phase, healing inner child. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Might want to go on a date. And you got mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationship, reflecting on old wounds. <clears throat> I don't even see reflecting on old wounds because this is like disbelief. I'm not really sure what I'm getting from grief. Healing's healing, okay? So these cards are not necessarily meshing, which is fine. Because these are messages to, to reach everybody, okay? Um... And these aren't linked. It's just the order I, I put them in. <clears throat> you do have a quiet energy around you. So something's going to the next level. I mean, healing in a chat. Like, maybe you just don't see it coming. This has to be energy that's surrounding you. People, places, things. Because someone, it's the opposite energy. Someone really likes you. It's like you're mirroring each other when it comes to what you want and how you like things. It's like a, a whole new perception. So all this energy, I, I don't think is you and dissipating it. I mean, it could be, but, you know, gosh, I just feel like, um, I don't know. I just got goofy from Goof Troop. It says, remember who you are. You are powerful, loving, 
and a child of God, you are very loved. So I, I feel like this is your, your conscious and your subconscious, to be quite frank with you. And I don't use that word, so I don't know if you're having a little past life regression right now. <clears throat> it's almost like something you're not even talking about. You got humor and self-esteem. You know, so being a little more confident, look at the lighter side of life, looking at the lighter side of things, which I could see could kind of be like a little difficult to do right this second with what I'm seeing. So, let's see. Tell me about this grief. What's this grief? Five of Cups. So yeah, I mean, you're definitely disappointed when it comes to something. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So it could be a feminine energy. You're not happy about the way something's going. It's like, with healing, you got the world. So that's a congratulations because you're opening a new chapter. So to me, it's like you're looking straight down or someone's looking straight down at these two of cups. The other three are in the water. It's normally someone's focused on the three and not seeing the two. So I don't know if somebody realizes they missed an opportunity with the queen of cups because she was at the bottom of the deck or this is the queen of cups like shit, I missed an opportunity. So it's, it's almost like the energy shifts throughout the day. And the healing is good. And then you got the Six of Swords. So you are moving forward. You are opening a new chapter in your life. So if you know what this is, spend more time focusing on the positive things versus the negative things, for sure. I think whoever you're dealing with is internally analyzing something, too. Nine of Wands, yeah, have strength. It's numbing. You know, it's, it's the warrior. You've been through a lot. Um, then you have the Queen of Pence. This was reversed. This deck is not meant to be red reverse. Um, but this reverse would be, you know, not having it weakness, not wanting to fight, giving up. So I don't know. And it's another feminine energy. Five of Swords defeated. The Nine of Swords stressed out. So I don't know if you have a couple different people on your mind. Because there's this is like an ending. This is someone who... This is defeated. I don't know if he or she tried to manipulate a situation. You did have the Queen of Pence, which would normally be you guys. Um, not wanting to fight, feeling defeated, numb. Self-image, relationship, old wounds, you know, um, and then you're healing because something's over. So I don't know if somebody new came into the picture because here you have, it's like a complete different energy now that's now sees and now is like, shit, I missed an opportunity. So there was something with someone at some point that someone still wants back. <sighs> Butterfly in the sky, we can go twice as high. Someone wants to call a truce with you. I seen a book, take a look, reading rainbow. So a feminine energy, princess of pence, or someone likes a feminine energy. I don't know if you just start in a new job, a new role, you're grounded, you're sufficient, it's pentacles. I don't know if this person has lied to you in the past, self-sabotaged a situation, lied to you. Because there's, uh, there's something here that ended with you guys and someone else or whomever you're dealing with. And it, right now it's like reflecting on wounds and that type of stuff, right? It's like numb, like disbelief. Someone most definitely lost an opportunity. And now the blindfold's off. And they want to call a truce. Someone is healing. Someone is ready to open a new chapter. If it's not you, it's someone else. 
and it, it is moving on past this, the Six of Swords. You are moving past this. Three of Swords, you got some sorrow here. Okay, so you do have multiple energies. Remember who you are. I do have three categories here. I have somebody who is probably going through all this that's like, I can't believe I missed an opportunity. I want it back. It does look like something's going to pan out. There is another thing where there might have been too many people. Who knows? But I will tell you there's a chapter open. There's a new one. You really like somebody or somebody really likes you. Wanting to date. You know, romance is blooming. You're grounded. You're ready. Um... And I love that you're actually not a queen here because this is you very laid back, kicked back, starting fresh. You know, you don't have to go in, you know, balls to the wall. You're very chill. Um, I don't know who the frig this is. This is somebody who just is giving up. But it looks like it's because something ended. And it could have been because somebody else was in the picture. So try looking at, focus on the lighter stuff. You know, like I said, um, if this is your energy, focus on the positive stuff versus the negative. And self-esteem, self-confidence is, is key here. But I, I feel like that's going to shift anyway because I saw the heels and I was like, you know, like welcome. Like, so it's like either someone's coming back to you renewed or you're going back to them renewed. This is something that's, Chances are it's, it's over. Someone feels defeated. They don't want to fight for it anymore. Like it's exhausting. Now they're reflecting on old wounds. Somebody's moving forward. There's still some sorrow. Two of one, someone trying to dominate a situation, you know? So, um, this is positive. It really is. So I will see you guys on the flip side. I'll see you on Patreon. I don't know why I said the flip side. So get ready. This energy is shifting for you nicely, to be honest with you. I don't think you're any of that. You could be, but a majority of you that I'm feeling is what's coming to you. And you don't necessarily have to call a truce. I mean, maybe call a truce. It would bring some peace, but it doesn't mean you, you'll end up with this person. You could just be going on your merry way. So we'll see what comes out on Patreon. I love you guys. Have a kick-ass week. Bye.